Inside of us, there is a river. And when the sun shines on that river, it is maybe yellow or pink or red. And when the moon shines on the river, it is black and white. So inside of your river, you have all of these colors. And what you do with them is your decision. But you may swim in the dark moonlit river the same way you swim in the colorful river of daylight. So as you are all here to conjure your own darkness, feel yourself swimming more easily into the depths of who you are. It's definitely the place where she drowned, but it's not, I never see her in the dream, I just feel her presence like, and it's not positive. That's, that's maybe the worst part about it is that like, you, I could be having this dream about her and that it would be so negative and scary. I think that's actually, that's the thing I hate the most. I just really want them to go away. <laughs> I think you're just really stressed out. I don't think, like you've been talking to me about work and you've been talking to me about these weird things that are going wrong. I think the only way you're gonna figure it out is if you talk to your dad. Okay, so our next spot you can view right from this corner. We're gonna have, um, does anyone recognize this house? Right here, this green one? Have you seen it before ever? Maybe? What? Yes, yeah, from Interview with a Vampire. But actually the place that we're really interested in is the one right next door. It's that, the one with the big brick chimneys. This tale is about Miss Julie, this French aristocrat. He was deeply in love with her. Um, and actually at that time, she was what's known as a place C, which is a um, legal mistress. But his family really wanted him to get married and to marry someone who wasn't, you know, obviously like, who was white like him. So Miss Julie, up at the top, one night, as they're kind of preparing for the card game downstairs, she says to him like, I really want to be with you forever. And he's like, that just, that just can't happen. So Julie goes to see Marie Laveau, she covers her in a love potion on her temples and on her um, throat. But while he's playing poker, he doesn't hear the normal sounds that Julie would make kind of like walking back and forth up there on the top floor. So um, the night wears on. He finishes his poker game, everyone leaves. He runs up the stairs, goes, he doesn't see her in a room, so he bursts through the roof. And then there he sees Miss... He sees Miss Julie um, clinging to a, one of the chimneys and he um, grabs her up in his arms. She's freezing cold, uh, shaking, shivering. He takes her downstairs and holds her while she dies in his arms. That was a good one. Yeah, yeah. really appreciate it. You guys were a great audience. Like, or I don't know, audience isn't the right word, um, but yeah. Great guide. Guy. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it. Awesome. I was going to say, if you're into this sort of thing, um, we do, like once a month, we do haunted. Uh -huh. uh, gatherings and so I'm gonna give you cards because um, it's performances and we go into a space we go into like you know a haunted place and tell stories and it's pretty creepy thank you well we'll try to make it okay yeah, please awesome. do It'd be great to see you again great okay. well, thank you again. a fun night okay bye bye, bye. bye. <laughs> good night ladies
Hey, Pops. Bob? You want to join the land of the living in here? Want some breakfast slash lunch? May I smoke in anticipation of dinner? Anticipation of what? Dinner. Lunch. Dinner. Breakfast. <laughs> uh, I guess so. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. This is a gourmet. I'm making you some gourmet um, uh, grilled cheese. So mm. be prepared. This might be. <clears throat> this yeah. might blow you away. Did you have a good day yesterday? Um. Yeah. It was okay. I gave a tour. It was went well. I'm getting, I think I'm getting pretty good at that. So. You make it up as you go along? I do. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there's some things I memorize. They like it, you know, if you just like add a little intrigue at the end. So I just try to be creative with how the stories go. Yeah. Do you miss mom? Do you ever miss mom? Ha ha! First and guess. Well, what can I say? You were always intuitive when it came to All opening right. beer bottles. <laughs> when you're good, you're good. Somebody was up and down all night. Is that you or little sister Kate? That was me. Mm. I've been having crazy dreams lately. What about? Yeah, about mom, actually. I think they're about mom. I don't Just... know. What? Do you dream about her? Give it a rest. You join the club. The club of all the those psychics putting their head down there in your little French Quarter. Hmm. What a load of crap! Mom saw psychics a lot. She drank a lot. The drinking wasn't what killed her, though. And how the do you know that? that come to you in your dream? No. She didn't, she drowned, so. Yeah. It's a different kind of drowning. And how do you think she got there? Hmm? I don't know. I guess I thought, like, maybe life being hard on you would have made you a little bit wiser. <laughs> yeah, well. That was wrong. Life is full of disappointments. Uh -huh. I'm that for wisdom. And I'm one, so deal with it. The sad part is it's not disappointing, it's just exactly like it was.
I wonder if the, yeah. like, if we could break it up. I don't. The, what am I trying to say? We could do it in like three parts. Like one, maybe like the opening. Mm. I want to save our energy for yeah tomorrow. I mean, yeah. the performance. Performance. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? I don't want to like lose my voice before tomorrow. No, 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 no. Yeah, don't scream. <coughs> yeah, yeah. I wouldn't scream. Samantha, is that okay? Street, yeah. Here? Also, oh, yeah. I don't know. Is it, we're not gonna Michelle, Samantha built the street here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. These two little girls, just so kind and sweet-hearted, were going to infect and destroy the entire new civilization. They were going to convince the entire community that these two little girls, these two poor seven-year-olds, were witches, and they had come to destroy. So, slowly the mother goes house to house, home to home. These two witches have come. My new husband was infected with them and now he's here with them and he can't get rid of them. We must kill them. Oh my God. God you guys look great. It's yeah, just... no, nothing can interfere. It's too beautiful. <coughs> God damn it. Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Joe? Is Joe with you? She's not here. She's usually here in the morning. God damn it. Okay. If you see her, just let me know. I'll let you know. So kind of like my one chance to, yeah, like get to know him. So I just don't know how long I can can continue. Yeah, that must be really hard. It must be so hard to be around someone who's sick and who's like, you know unpredictable, like, oh, he might, like, we might show up and he might be vomiting, or like, oh, you know, we might not, we might not know if he's gonna be okay all the time. That, God, that's really hard. Isn't it so hard to be around someone who's, Why are you turning it like into this? You I'm not turning turn it into it. anything. You that's what, turn that's what my this. life has been like for a long time. I just wanna be around him. This is like what I wanted for all of my childhood, was to be around him. And I was always like, ah. He was always, like, uh, he was always not there, so. It feels like a chance to get something that I didn't have before, so I would really like to take advantage of it. Kate? Yeah. Do you hear that? Do you hear something? Oh. 
But I mean, uh, it's like... Okay, but hold on, because it just it stopped for a second, but, um, just with, um... <laughs> centuries beyond, people would say that they had now learned that you must never disturb the mother. All of New Orleans went up in flames. The one place that was a sanctuary, the one place that stood standing, was this very house we're standing in now. The the image of the, the horned beast with the tail oh, yeah? and you know the image of a goat uh -huh. um, was originally not this uh, icon of absolute evil, but uh -huh. was this sort of um, cult for the oppressed of ancient Athens. You know, it's to me like so interesting. The wait, are you psychic? <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Me. Like, <laughs> wait, <laughs> like, do I read the future? No, I, can you tell what I'm thinking right now? <laughs> Definitely. But the future yeah, is... I guess that's true. I guess I can sort of tell what you're thinking too. Can you think 
see what I'm thinking right now? A little bit, yeah. yeah. Huh. Well, psychics don't read the future. Real psychics don't read the yeah, future. Yeah, no, I, I know. But they tell you what you need. Yeah. And do you need hmm. something? I'm looking for, I, 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 I'm trying to talk to someone. I'm, yeah, I actually am, I'm really, I am really looking for someone to talk to about something. Yeah, so, something specific. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, uh, I don't know. Like, what sort of thing? Um, my mom. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I want to talk to somebody about my mom. She's, she doesn't, she's not alive anymore. Okay. So, but, she, I guess she saw a lot of people, she saw some psychics in the, like, probably like the 80s and early 90s, and uh -huh. um, so if there was somebody practicing then, yeah. that you happen to know, okay. even though you're not a psychic, <laughs> do you know any? <laughs> I don't know. Somebody has been here for a while. Somebody's been here for a while. Yeah. Somebody, yeah. yeah. I might what? know somebody. Okay. Yeah. Oh, good. Their, their name is Paula. Okay. Yeah. Are you that good? On me? I like the vibe. Oh, come on, baby. Don't be like it. Did I? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> I'm just kidding around. <laughs> I have said to him, in vain. I have striven to teach my heart to bow. In vain have I said to him, there be many greater singers than thou. Bob, we had an excellent night. Everything goes good. No, not. And we're going to make a big. Oh. vain I have striven to teach my heart to bow. In vain I said to him, There be many greater singers than thou. And his answer from his music. There is upon me a trembling in the twilight that leaveth me no rest. And 
pieces of this song. Yet there is there. There is there. There is there. Why are we here to speak to the spirit of Hattie Lafayette, 11 years old, who killed her two parents? We are here to communicate with her because we are also capable of taking a knife in our hands and stabbing someone that we love. And when we embrace that part of ourselves, we have nothing to fear. eggs we have before us represent newness, growth. So as we heat up the egg of Hattie Lafayette, as we give her life again tonight, may we also give life to the places in ourselves that have been lying dormant. yourself be hurt and afraid. Let yourself be deeply disappointed. You are letting yourself say yes to a place that has also gone unloved. And as you breathe, we will share this silence with only the sound of our breath and with the breath of Hattie who is coming towards us. Nike uh, said maybe I could come over and uh, talk to you about some stuff that's been going on. Just, I'm sorry, give me your address. I hope it's okay. So you want some spiritual advice? Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, if Nike it's, sent you. Okay. Come on in. Thanks. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Appreciate it. Thanks. Let's do a little bit of cleansing before we start this process. Uh -huh. You've brought quite a few people here with you today. What um, do you mean? Well, as, as spiritual beings, we bring people from beyond, from the beyond mm -hmm. with us, both light and dark. Okay. And I'm sensing a, you know, a maternal figure. Uh -huh. um, do you hold the gift? What gift? Do you also have the gift of sight? Oh, I mean, I don't think so. It'd be nice. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. I have, but have you been dreaming? Has your mother been coming to you in your dreams? Yeah. Yeah. What is she saying to you? Um, uh,
this is really what is that one what is that this one? is it's the tower card yeah and when the tower card hits you in a reading uh, it is total like an annihilation of a of a of a reality or of a world and in some ways there's a portal that is mm -hmm. opening for you mm -hmm. but what you want to avoid is a black hole you really are going to need some kind of ritual or mm -hmm. ceremony mm -hmm. to just kind of cleanse out. Uh -huh. There's just things that are attached to you. Yeah. Okay. And I think what what often happens is things attach because you are this bright light. Mm -hmm. I just can't help but think that your that that your mother but this was foul play. This is that there's something else was yeah, going on. And I, I, you know, I, that's what she's telling me. If you're wanting yeah. to to connect with her, yeah. she's letting us know uh -huh. through the reading that she had. She doesn't want what happened to her to happen to you. Okay. And I'm not sure I know what that is, but maybe you know. Maybe you know. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't know. I was like. Seven. Mm -hmm. Oh, and she passed. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's it's sort of like, from what I'm feeling, it's something that you need to be very careful of. And who is your mother? Um, her name is Margaret Stone. Do you think that, um, like, she could send someone else to tell me something, or that she would want to be telling that she would try to be communicating in some way? Well, I think she sent you here. Yeah. I'm a little scared. I know. I know. I know. I think that's why they found me. Okay. So, you're going to be okay. And I'm going to help you as much as I can. Okay. Okay. You're a lifesaver. Oh. Oh. Thank you. It's very strong. Cheers. Oh. 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 How's the how's the beer? <laughs> the beer is delicious. Thank you so much. Sorry, she's not here. I don't really know what. 
You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Thank you. I really do. Thank you. Thanks. look so good. <laughs> Come down to my world, huh? <laughs> no, I'm saying it because, believe it or not, in my small way, I care. Ritual welfare of the Countess, I myself. I will break humility. I the jar of You just have to center yourself. No, man, this is not a centering yourself moment. Like, this is a. I don't. I don't know how it got to this point, but it's not where I want to be. You know, I go to sleep and I. I hear him when I go to sleep every night, and he. You don't know what the. F saying like he's just mumbling on about and it's not only it's creepy I don't know something switched yeah I don't really know enough to have an opinion on I don't that. even want to talk about it I don't even want to talk about it anymore I don't even want to talk about it anymore we don't have to it's not that's not even the words for what's going on right now it's really I mean, what choice does she have? What? Sorry, I didn't hear you. What? I mean, it's family. These are the things we do for family. Yeah, but they're not family. They're not family. They could have been a family if he stayed around, but they're not family. I don't know. Maybe just for the night you should put it out of your mind.
Must have been a hard night, huh? You know what's dramatic is walking into the bathroom and not knowing if you're gonna be breathing or not. That's dramatic. That's not true. Yeah, what, do you, do you know what that felt like? I don't know if you, you don't know what that felt like, so. That is true. That's true. We don't have to do this. This doesn't have to this doesn't have to be happening right now. I know. Yeah, that's right. It could just be like every other time that you fuck something up and I just don't say anything. I fuck stuff up? Yeah, yeah. I fuck stuff up? Yeah. You don't you don't know anything about what I do for you. Do you know what my life was like like three hours ago? Fuck you. Just fuck you. Yeah, okay. Get out of my house. I'm not leaving. This is my house. You can go. Like, I'm not you can go right touch, now. No, no, yeah, yeah. Don't touch no, no, no. Me. I'm going to touch you because this is my bed. You're no longer sleeping in it. Oh! <sighs> you stay the away from me. We have been called here this evening. To help a dear friend of ours, Miss Jo. Welcome to the circle. We are calling upon the gods and the goddesses of fire to help burn the darkness and the blackness that is threatening her spirit and her soul. We use the white feather of peace. We ask that the great mother hold her as she would hold any of her children. I offer a drink to the fire. I drink for you. I drink for you, Heyoka. <laughs> oh, thank you. Mm. Magnifica, magnifica, magnifica anima mea, domine. Our flesh is a gift and we thank you for it. <laughs>
And may our bodies magnify the wealth that you have bestowed upon us. My mother spoke of a Margaret um, long ago. It was a close friend of hers. I'm wondering if it's, it's the same Margaret. And from what my mother tells me, she was prone to playing with the darkness. And so whatever this is, if this is the same Margaret, um, it's attached itself to you. The sense of the sacred is multi-generational. Everything you could possibly imagine, your body is everything. Magnifica. 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 I'm tired, Josie. I'm tired as hell. I need your help.
Don't call anybody, please, 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 please. No, I'm done. Just let me do this myself, all right? Please. <laughs> what am I supposed? To, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? We Just can't get have the f inside. I'm all right. Just let me do this, please. Please. Shit. Oh. Oh man. This is nothing like I thought. Do you just want me to get you some water? Do you want me to no, leave? What do you... Sit down. Just sit down. It'll be fine. It's gonna f pass. Oh, oh God. God. Okay, Bob. Just whatever you want to do. Thank you. Thank you. Just, just stay. You know, the clouds don't look a f***ing bit different even though it's your last time. <laughs> They're just clouds. <laughs> oh, f*** me. This hurts. me. Joe's mother. No. It's not important. She died. How did she die? It was a long time ago. Bob, can you help me, please? I need to know what happened. What? Huh? Whatever's happening to Josephine. You guys it's, just gotta leave it's, it it's, alone, I'm Bob, telling you. Bob, leave it alone. But I... But it's real, and I saw something. Oh, God. Oh, don't start this stuff. Please, I mean, I, please, please. I need to know. Oh, no, I need to know no, what you happened. Don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Somebody trusts you that much. And then she showed it to me. And then she showed me how. She asked me. She showed me how. She said, Bah. Put my head under. Please. Keep it down. Keep it down. What do you mean? So I did. 
I killed my wife. I've killed her every day since. Joe, Joe, I think I need to go to the hospital, baby. I'm not feeling good.